Hi John and Julie, how you guys are doing? Hi Bob thank you, my work is going pretty good. What about you Julie? Hi Bob and John, I am doing great. Right now my team is going to head new integration project starting from next week using Dell Boomi Pass tool, need your inputs and suggestions regarding this tool. Oh congrats Julie, I have good experience on Boomi. On the enterprise level, application exceptions might occur during runtime which leads to several risks or impacts to business down situation if they are not handled properly. Thank you Bob. Yeah, it's obvious that exceptions might occur, do you have any suggestions to handle them in a proper way? Sure Julie but first let me know some basic info about your project. Do you have more atoms, molecules running? Yes Bob, we have multiple atoms running in our machines. Does your team has exception handling framework? If yes, does it provides, notifies user with details including, atom, process and at which step error has occurred? No Bob, we don't have any such framework. Hey guys, I am using a framework known as Boomi Common Logging Error Framework, Catchy, which addresses these issues by providing a common solution framework for logging and exception handling as enterprise service. Oh John, it sounds great can you explain me what is meant by Catchy? Catchy framework follows both top-down and bottom-up approach mechanism. This framework handles the errors by following a standard structure format and the enterprise level. One can publish errors to queue, Catchy automatically consumes and process. Error codes will be created itself automatically, if it's already not configured, found, in the DB for the corresponding error. Solution repository maintains all the SOP, standard operating procedures, for the resolved error issues. One can follow and resolve, fix the error if it repeats again anytime. John, this framework seems to work good can you tell me the reasons which make Catchy so special? Ok Bob. Let me tell you the special features of Catchy. Handle exceptions in a standardized uniform structure across all enterprise applications and processes. Real-time alerts to the assigned groups on users. Role-based access provided to analyze track the issue, application-wise, process-wise, and error-wise. Create logs through structured logs. Oh John that's great. How can we manage logs and exceptions? Yes, this framework have a rich UI where it is provides. Error search. Export feature is enabled to export error log data that helps research team to analyze the issue more precisely. Dashboards designed to provide detailed error information activity-wise with graphical representation. This is the architecture diagram of Catchy. Wow John, that's pretty interesting. I am looking forward to use the framework and can you please give us a demo on Catchy? Ok Julie. Let us log into the Catchy UI and see what the features it will provide. Here the data has been cleared for demo, you can observe the different tabs here. These are the four different applications, processes running on two different atoms. Log into Boomi and now deploy the Catchy core process, and deploy the Azure to FTP application which throws the errors to Catchy framework. Now let us test the process, you can observe that there is an error in FTP shape and it will catch the error and send it to Catchy queue. Catchy core application will catch the error from the Catchy queue and insert the details into database and notify to the default user. You can observe the mail with all the error details. Now let us log into UI. Now you can see the different dashboards. In error handler you can see the application. Process. Error insertion. In application level provide the notification ID. Can you please explain the features of Solution Repository in detail? Yeah Julie. In reports you can search for the errors and click on view and click on the solution provider to write the solution for that error, which might be helpful for the team members, if they come across same error in future as reference, after writing solution click on save button to save the solution. John, what happens if same exception repeats? That's a good question Bob. Now let us test the Azure to FTP process again, it will notify the new user which we have provided in previous step. 
Now you can observe the mail with all the error details. This time we get solution to in that mail. Now let us run other three applications processes Azure to DB, Azure to JMS, Azure to File, and here you will be getting three different types of errors that is DB error, JMS error, file path error respectively. Now let us log into the UI. Now you can observe the dashboards for the total four processes. Thank you guys. For all your suggestions I will try Catchy and will use it for our future projects. Had a great time with you. For any queries please reach us at catchy at eiesb.com.